told me come round to the studio, let's cook it. He told me come to catch a vibe and make some music. So and original and raw. Hello, everybody. Thank you for another recommendation into the world of Ray. It's been an absolute phenomenal journey so far. We've only done two songs, one live and escapism. And today we get to do Ray live performance at the Brit Awards 2024. We don't know too much about it. We have seen some comments to give us little hints and tips, but we are looking forward to seeing her live on stage. Her presence on stage last time was really special. And, you know, we said that she was a wonderful, empowered woman that was really bringing the vibes to the song. So can't wait for this. My name is Lee J over this stand. We're highly reactive. And you are highly amazing yes absolutely lee j yes you have left those wonderful comments telling us to check this out so here we are checking this one out so don't forget we do leave those lovely comments support to the original artist hashtag ray when you do leave them make sure you check out the original links down in the description below make sure you like it and sub it and love it let's go on with the show lee j i'm excited for this one yeah i'm assuming she's gonna get into some sort of introduction A first special performance from hmm. a singer songwriter and former Brit school student whose vulnerability, you can hear those Brit students, whose vulnerability <laughs> and great pen has won her legions of fans, including her fellow artists, have written songs for the likes of Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez, oh. well now the spotlight oh. is well and truly on her. Exactly. Tonight she makes Brit's history okay. by becoming the first artist to land a massive seven nomination. It's Ooh, unheard of. Yeah. What a night Independent as well, I think. Already three Brits in the bag. She is real. She is raw. She is Ray. Like it. Somebody I was probably writing that. Yeah. I can't believe she no, wrote no, all those songs, mate. Like, I didn't even know Ray was. This producer hit me up on a DM. He told me, hey, I really like what you are doing. He told me, come round to the studio, let's cook it. He told me, come to catch a vibe and make some music. So and original and raw. He was saying, trying to touch me, trying to me, I'm not playing. I should have left that place as soon as I walked in it. How goddamn dare you do that to me, really? Ooh. Coming like the ice cream Till I felt his ice cold hands and how I paid. Oh, oh, that is. Said everything you did, it left me in a ruin. And no, I didn't say a word. I guess that proves it. I That is a very special start. I tell you what, the in, uh, introductions from the two uh, presenters said something very particular there. She said she's raw, and I think that's a word I would use to her. She's a very raw talent. You know, she's. I like how she uses a British accent then. She was like, I went and met the producer. <laughs> it's sort of, you know, it's very British. And I sort of like, you know, we should be proud as Brits that, you know, she's doing that sort of thing. She, like I said, I get the sort of vibes that I get from some independent artists like Ren and stuff like that. I like it because it's her. And I, I'm so surprised, mate, that she did. Well, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that she was doing like Beyonce songs and Jennifer Lopez, all these big artists who get paid millions and millions. And there's some lovely lady behind doing all the fucking credit. Bastards. I, oh, I know, mate. It is. It's mental. Like, I, I was just thinking, like, I can't believe we have never heard of Ray up until we got the original recommendation that got us onto Ray. Like, and how much, like, she does, and it's all independent as well. And you've got to say hats off to her. She's doing a fantastic job. She's got a lovely voice. Didn't know she played piano. That's sort of like a first. She's playing it very elegantly at the moment very soothingly but it goes very well with that beautiful voice that she's got and it is such a different vibe than what we saw in escapism like it goes to show what sort of sort of um you know character she can bring any yeah character she is and she can bring anything to the table no matter what yeah. the art is so, yeah. we, we knew that she went independent but we didn't know the real reason why and now we do it sounds of like the producer is a little bit of a handsy prick hope his dick's been cut off and uh yeah like she stuck up for herself a lot of people women may have like gave in to that pressure just to make it but she was like nah i'm gonna do it my way and she has made it well done to it like i said three already nipped seven uh nominations deserved Man, I've been broken for a moment, I've been through it, no. It's even harder to be brave alone. I was a girl, now I'm grown, I'm a woman. Oof. A very strong woman. Nah. I wish I could say 
how I feel, how I feel, and explain why I'm silently blaming myself, because I put on these faces, pretending I'm fine, and then I go to the bathroom and I press rewind in my head, always oh. going round and round in my head, your fingerprints stuck a stain on my skin, you made me frame myself for your sin, you pathetic dead excuse, I'm a man. Wow, mate, it's very powerful. I'm very surprised, actually, the Brits Award have allowed a song like it because they're very sort of, you know, the music industry sometimes, they're very sort of like, they like to hide this sort of side of the music industry. But she's like really pushing it out there. Like, look, I was a woman. I went into the music industry. I was mistreated. I was, I, uh, I feel, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it begins with V and I can't think of it. Uh, Victorious. Victimized. Victorious. Victimized. I feel victimized against this man that was a producer. I'm assuming he was a man that was a producer. And, you know, like, she, it's, it's fucking amazing that she's done all the... It's, I can't get out of my head that she's done those songs for Beyonce and stuff. It annoys me a little bit because it's like, well, hold on. She's the one with the talent. I'm so, gr I'm so glad that she was able to push through the music industry, almost push it aside and make a name for herself. Ray and big writing in the background there because people like Beyonce and stuff who get all the music and all that stuff from her credits and the, her mind and her artistic form. Now she gets to show her artistic form, and she really has got a story to tell, and I can't wait for the rest of it. Yeah, definitely, Lee J. I mean, I got goosebumps there where she went into that sort of little, almost like a bit of a rap spiel that she did, but like it was like you saw the emotion and passion within her face as she was doing it, and it sent like a proper chill down my body, mate, and I do... I love it when an artist does that because it's just that's the gift of being an artist. And I'll tell you something, mate. Mm. I yeah, every time, mate, I get wowed by her. I, I'm fully wowed. Like I get mesmerised by her absolute talent. It's definitely amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking. The curtain's about to lift. I'm intrigued to see if it's going to get more jazzy now. Yeah, let's see what she does. Look. It looked like it was good, jazzy. Like dead. Maybe a bit more serious. Dramatic. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, bless her. <laughs> Feel like I'm in Prince's house, purple paint on the walls. Uh -huh. Sitting down on this fancy couch, and I can't see straight. I'm a stay. Uh -huh. 22 I'm in Paris, baby. Oh, that's cool. In my face. Uh -huh. Ah. Oh. That is cool. And you got to love that mixture of music that she brings into it. I mean, you don't know what the hell is going on. Right? Like, the next part is so different than the next part is so different. It's like she's like merging all these different sort of songs together. And like you mentioned, Ren earlier, mate. And I would love to see a Ray and Ren sort of collab on a song Ray -N. with both of their art artistical sort of geniuses merging into one sort of phenomenal musical masterpieces, which I imagine like as. Oh, mate, I just don't know what's coming, and I do love it when an artist does that because it's just so fantastic. It's so engaged. You get so like really into it. Like you know, it was a bit sort of like theoretical after she came out of the curtains lifted and that it was very sort of almost serious. And now now the saxophone playing it has got this sort of more of a jazzy vibe. So yeah, she's switching up a lot, mate. And yeah, a really interesting character she is. I'm so I'm fascinated yeah. by her. 
she calls out to people like me and me and Stan, like people like sorry, like Ray, because it's they don't just go out there and just do a song. They go out there and do a performance, and that's sometimes mistaken. And definitely in the last you know decade or so, some music you just go out, they just do crap on stage, and then they walk off, and you hear yeah, that was a song. But like we said, people like Ray, uh, Ranch, and Chilla, these UK artists that are just growing out there and pushing themselves. They're not exactly what you see every day, and I love it, mate. You know, they'll bring a choir in, they'll make it a serious choir they'll do shouts screams it's funky it's jazzy it's scary it's horror it's just everything merged into one and no wonder she got all the awards she did Oh, oh, okay. A little context if you care to listen. I find myself in a position. The man that I love sat me down last night and he told me that it's over. Mm, and I don't want okay. to my heart is ripping. So I don't want to feel so I stick to sipping. And I'm out on a town with a simple mission in my little black dress. And it's, it's just a hard road. I hear six inch in the back of the night class up in champagne. I don't trust any Oh, mate, do you know what I really like? For me and Stan, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, obviously we were, as you can see, we were like, oh, they're mix she's mixing it up. Obviously different songs, but it just shows yeah. the typical range of her music as well. You know, one minute she's rapping, one minute she's like sort of doing opera singing, one minute she's like just doing vocal singing. She's doing sort of street talk rap, like, you know, back to like, you know, the streets and stuff like that. If you remember that artist, she'll just mix it up. And it just, I think it's a good way of range of her song, showing the audience, showing new people and members out there that she hasn't just got that one talent where she can rap rap or sing or something she can merge it all together oh, i even forgot she's playing piano at the beginning as well so she's even actually got music musical abilities again like an artist i know i wish they would do something together hells yeah lee j i'll tell you something mate yeah it was only when that song came on i sort of clicked on there like you did like oh she's playing like lots of different of our songs obviously we're still quite new to the ray world so we didn't catch on quite quickly there i do have a question though for the fans of ray which i'm hoping someone might be able to help me out with i know she's not got shoes on now we've seen quite a few artists and some of them don't wear shoes you know like angelina jordan she doesn't wear shoes because of a, a story from her childhood you know we've seen the band made uh basis she doesn't wear shoes in performance because she likes to feel the music for the free what's ray's reason for not wearing shoes it's such an elegant elegant dress you know she's yeah. done a little bit of walking it wasn't like it was um you know like she's got to like climb upstairs and do lots of like jumping around and that so i'm intrigued <laughs> well not yet as we know but i'm intrigued about maybe is this like a ray thing that she prefers not to it's just unusual Com comfortable maybe yeah. just comfortability you know like that thing and maybe you're right maybe it's like the uh band mage you know she likes to feel the music on her toes to feel the beat sometimes it presses yeah. them up in it to like get in get yeah. in with the rhythm i'm intrigued relying on you lovely lady. Yeah. Yeah. I love her smile. She's so like happy smile, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, she did that last time as well. Oh, I think it's quite amazing. Do you know what I like about uh, Ray? I noticed it in the last song as well that we did live. Is she's got that sort of humble thing. She did it like here, then she sort of said thank you at the end. 
And then she's like, thank you. It's almost like she's quite shy, but like when she's singing or she's on stage, mate, it's like a different persona. Seeing it with Angelina Jordan, you know, but she's quite sweet, she's quite shy, but when she gets up on stage, you know, the music takes over and she becomes a different, like, almost personality. And it's, you know, we just hear the, just that, the vocal strain that she just has to put herself through. Absolutely smooth, absolutely beautiful. And then just like, like, thank you. You know, like, it was nice. You can see as a nice person that is actually stood up on that stage. You know, she's got the typical humanity, uh, lovable, humble side, and I loved it. The music was absolutely fire, absolutely great live performance, bringing in, you know, sort of a classical vibe to it, a bit more of a modern side to it, opera side to it. It was and a grimy. It was just absolutely an amazing performance throughout, I think. Yeah, totally, Jay, mate. Couldn't agree more. Not much, too much to add on to that, except for the fact that I just really thoroughly bloody enjoyed that i love it when she does that those screams at the end she did it on the last one the um uh oh god the other last one we did i can't remember the name of it now, DJ. Oh, yeah the one in albert hall absolutely phenomenal voice and it's like my opinion of her has changed so much from when we saw her in the first video where i thought it was more like sort of grimy hip-hop but she's got so much more than that and it does go to show you like what just what an absolutely incredible woman is and i did love no pick up on that little laugh she did you know she's an independent artist she gets shocked she's still like wow this is absolutely amazing what an opportunity look i'm performing here at the brit awards 2024 i've got this wonderful like orchestra behind me this is next level oh damn what is going on in life right now because this is fantastic and she is fantastic and she thoroughly deserves it so thank you very much for those recommendations that led us here remember if you enjoyed myself and lee J's reaction to this then make sure you hit that thumbs up button hit the old subscription and ring that notification bell as well thank you Thank you very much for the recommendation so far. Don't forget to do hashtag Ray down below and keep supporting this artist and pushing them out there. And also some recommendations of her further performances, music videos or music in general or any other artists that you might like to see. We are highly reactive. And you are highly amazing.